Hey everybody, this is Andrew Connell and I just wanted to introduce you to a new course that I've published on the Pluralsight catalog. Uh, this course is all about the Office 365 APIs. It's an overview, authentication, and the discovery service is what the title is. Uh, this is actually the first course in a series of a bunch of courses I'm doing around the Office 365 APIs. Uh, and what this one does is it really deals with a lot of the common stuff that you have to deal with with the APIs. There are three common things that you have to deal with with the Office 365 APIs. Uh, you have to understand how the Office 365 apps and the APIs uh, interact with the Azure AD uh, applications and what the relationship is there between those two things. So I'll explain what those are. Also talk a little bit about the authentication piece. Uh, what's the OAuth 2 and OpenID Connect and how do I obtain these access tokens? And then finally, what's this thing called the discovery service? These are all things that you have to deal with with the Office 365 APIs. So what are you gonna learn in this first course? Well, I've got six modules, so let me explain real briefly what's in each one of these. The first one, it's just a course overview and an introduction to the series, so you can understand how this fits into the bigger picture and what you're gonna learn about in this course. Also, what you're gonna need in order to accomplish uh, and be successful with this course. The second module, I'm gonna introduce the Office 365 APIs. You may not be as familiar with them as I am, so I'm gonna explain what they are, why you should care about them, because Hey, all the applications we build, they almost always want to interact with someone's data, specifically around their contacts or their calendar or their email or their files. And so I'll explain how the 365 APIs expose these things. The next module, module three, is going to be about explaining from a high level how Office 365 and the Azure Active Directory applications are actually going to work, how you set them up, how you create them, how permissions work, and all of that stuff. Then in module four, we're gonna go into a lot of depth on authentication. And when I say in depth, we're really gonna go in. So what are we gonna cover? I'm gonna to talk to you about OAuth 2, the protocol we use for authentication. I'm gonna to talk to you about OpenID Connect. I'm gonna explain how that gives us a little bit of value add and, and identity information on top of the existing OAuth 2 protocol. It's also gonna, I'm also gonna show you how using just Fiddler in the browser, how to do the entire handshake to get things like an, an authorization token and use that to get an access token to be able to interact with the Office 365 APIs because it all is going to boil down to the fact that you have to have an access token in order to get to the APIs. I'll show you how to do all of that in this module. Furthermore, in the next module, module five, what we're going to do is build an ASP.NET MVC web application and we're going to do everything we need to code it up to be able to handle all of the authentication stuff for us. It's going to use the OWN framework, the open uh, framework that Microsoft has provided to hook into the ASP.NET MVC pipeline to do the authentication at a very low level. I'll show you how to go about doing that. This will be a great sample that we'll use, and actually I'll use it, uh, for all of the other Office 365 API web-based projects that I'm going to create. It's going to be a great way to start out. And then finally, in Module 6, I'm going to talk to you about the discovery service, which is something we're going to use to figure out what services are available to our different customers and what they can actually, what things, what the endpoints are. Uh, so what they have rights to do and then how to get to them and then i'll show you how to take the project we created in the previous module and extend it to show you all the stuff that you have access to with the discovery service so by the end of this entire course you will understand how the authentication works how to create apps in azure ad how to interface with the 365 apis how to authenticate and then also how to work with the discovery service again in future courses i'll explain how to work with the individual apis so stay tuned keep keep an eye out for those you know, yeah, by the way, this stuff changes a lot. The Office 365 APIs, Microsoft was pretty committed about saying they're going to make a lot of changes. And hey, some stuff changed even and even got improved as I was recording the course. So I've got another I've got a, a project that I'll show you uh, that you can actually uh, get to uh, if you take the course that will keep you updated on all the new things that are going on with the APIs. And if there's anything that has changed and hasn't been updated in the course yet to stay current. So with that. I hope you take a minute to go take a look at the course. You can get some free access to Pluralsight. It's a great resource. If you're already a subscriber, you've got access today.